penny. Yeah, FYI, the hot water is inadequate on machine two, so colors only. And four is still releasing the fabric softener too early in the cycle, so I'd avoid using that for your delicates. Thanks. <laughs> well, good lord. Why don't you just take your clothes down to the river and beat them with a rock? <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. I couldn't become Green Lantern unless I was chosen by the Guardians of Oa. But given enough startup capital and adequate research facility, I could be Batman. You could be Batman? Sure. I'm Batman. See? You promised Penny what? I wouldn't tell you the secret. Shh. What secret? Tell me the secret. Mom smokes in the car. <laughs> Jesus is okay with it, but we can't tell Dad. Not that secret. The other secret. I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm a shut it. <laughs> you said Penny told you a secret. What's the secret? Okay, I'll tell you, but you can't tell Leonard. <laughs> You know how I know we're not in the Matrix? How? If we were, the food would be better. Great news. My mom sent me my old Nintendo 64. Oh. Terrific. You know what this means, don't you? Break out the Red Bull. It's time to rock Mario old school. I kind of have other plans tonight. But it's Friday. Friday's always vintage game night. Look, Mom included the memory card. We can pick up right where I left off in 1999 when I had pernicious anemia. Well, the thing is, someone's coming over. Well, then no problem. I have three controllers. The more, the merrier. Sheldon, it's a date. I have a date coming over. Oh. Well, you can't blame me for not jumping to that conclusion. Why? What's so unusual about me having a date? Well, statistically speaking... All right, all right. <laughs> Well, uh, nevertheless, I have one now, and I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, make yourself scarce. Leonard, I am a published theoretical physicist with two doctorates and an IQ which can't be accurately measured by normal tests. How much scarcer could I be? <laughs> you know what I mean. Could you just give us a little privacy? You want me to leave the apartment? Yes. You mean just go someplace else and be someplace else? <laughs> yes. Well, why should I leave? This is my apartment, too. Well, I know it is, and if science ever discovers a second member of your species and you two would like some privacy, I'd be more than happy to get out of your way. <laughs> well, all right, then. Sheldon? What are you doing? Playing Super Mario on a poorly coded Nintendo 64 emulator. <laughs> yeah, but why are you doing it on the stairs? I am a modern-day Napoleon exiled to the Elba of the staircase because Leonard, get this, has a date. Oh. Oh, well, good for him. Yeah, but why are you sitting here? Why don't you just go to a movie or something? Alone? Yeah, why not? What if I choke on my popcorn? Who will administer the Heimlich maneuver? Well, then don't order popcorn. No popcorn at the mo- listen to yourself. Why don't you go to a coffee shop? I don't drink coffee. They have other things. What do they have? I don't know. You know, cookies, pastries. Pastries, such as bear claws? Yeah, sure. I don't like bear claws. Hey, Penny. Dumbass. Leslie Winkle. Of all the overrated physicists in all the labs and all the world, why does it have to be Leslie Winkle? They have a lot in common. I mean, they're both scientists. Oh, please. The only way she could make a contribution to science would be if they resume sending chimps into space. Okay, well, I have a date, too, so I'll see ya. Everybody has a date. Even you, Mario, going after Princess Peach. <laughs> and what am I doing? I'm just enabling you. Okay, good night, Sheldon. Oh, Mario. 
If only I could control everyone the way I control you. <laughs> hop, you little plumber. Hop, hop, hop. This is Shelby with the Conqueror. We are about to enter Axel's fortress. Now, this is a long run, so let's do another bladder check. <laughs> All right, Barry, we'll wait for you again, but you really should see a doctor. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> you want to catch me up? Well, let's see. Uh, she attempted to open her apartment with her car key because her face is overly Midwestern. Uh, <laughs> She hasn't had sex in six months, and she ate a fly. Uh huh. Seriously, six months? Oh my god, a treasure chest! I'm rich. Level three, and she thinks she's rich. <laughs> Sit over there. There's my missing neutrino. You were hiding from me as an unbalanced charge, weren't you, you little subatomic dickens? Hey, look, look, I found my missing neutrino. Oh, good, we can take it off the milk cart. <laughs> Did you remember to ask for the chicken with broccoli to be diced, not shredded? Yes. Even though the menu description specifies shredded? Yes. Brown rice, not white? Yes. Did you stop at the Korean grocery and get the good hot mustard? Yes. Did you pick up the low sodium soy sauce from the market? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you so long. Just sit down and eat. Fine. All right, it's shredded. What do you want me to do? I want you to check before you accept the order. Sorry. Were you distracted by the possibility that Cuther Polly might have intercourse with Penny tonight? <laughs> Good morning, Leonard. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to have to stop by Pottery Barn on the way to work. I bought these Star Wars sheets, but they turned out to be much too stimulating to be compatible with a good night's sleep. I don't like the way Darth Vader stares at me. I'm not going to work. Oh, just because your career's been stagnant for a few years, that's no reason to give up. Let's go. Good night, Sheldon. But how am I going to get to work? Take the bus. But I can't take the bus anymore. They don't have seat belts. And they won't let you lash yourself to the seat with bungee cords. You tried to lash yourself to the seat with bungee cords? I didn't try. I succeeded. <laughs> For some reason, it alarmed the other passengers, and I was asked to debus. Well, you're a big boy. You'll figure it out. Well, talk to me like I'm a child. Now take me to return my Star Wars sheets. <laughs> Penny? 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 Sheldon! What is it? Leonard's asleep. We also play games. Would you like to play one? No. Oh, come on. It's fun. Another bump. Okay, uh, I'll say an element, and uh, you say an element whose name starts with the last letter of the one I said, okay? I'll start. Helium. Now, you could say Mercury. And that would give me a Y. Ooh, very clever. That's a tough one. So I go a terbium, which gets you back to M. So you go molybdenum. And I say magnesium. And you say manganese. And I say europium. And then you're left with mendelevium. And there are no more M's. Because I believe that my nurium should still be called echa iridium. So congratulations. You win. Do you want to go again? How about we just have a little quiet time now? All right. I'm sorry. I'm finding your reckless nonchalance regarding the check engine light to be very troubling. Get out. Well, I have to tell you that while I do have a theoretical understanding of the workings of an internal combustion engine, I'm not sure I'm capable of performing diagnostics. I said get out. Okay, I'll give it a shot. 